talking about a guy that did not get a ton of buzz in dynasty circles pre-draft, but was getting some buzz among NFL analysts. And that is Jaden Reed of Michigan State, who goes off the board in the second round to the Green Bay Packers. Now, Jaden Reed, again, kind of under our radar for sure, under most people's radar. Yeah. But uh, 5'11", 191, uh, he's 23 years old. And you're looking at what he did last year uh, at Michigan State. He played in 11 games. He had 55 receptions for 630 yards. The year before, he had 13 games for 1,026 yards. Uh, He had 10 touchdowns the year before this one and five touchdowns this year. So from a production standpoint, from an age standpoint, from an athleticism standpoint, I'm not seeing – this is surprising to me, honestly. Very. I'm not seeing here, you know, and I didn't – I don't know. And I'm not an NFL analyst, and they're going to know more than I am, but – I'm just not seeing it with this one. It is interesting. His best comparable on player profile is Stephon Diggs. Yeah. So yeah. that's interesting. No, he, yeah, tell me about Jaden Reed. So I think his route running is fine. I watched a little bit of Jaden Reed again. It was a while back because I didn't really expect him to move up draft boards significantly. He, I had an eye on him, though. Um, <laughs> did not expect him to go this early in the second, however. His, his junior year, he did well. I mean, 7.4 yards per reception. And then that really comes down to 11.6 yards per reception. His senior year, I I think what he's going to do a very good job at for Jordan Love is that um, probably the intermediate game where Christian Watson is going to remain that field stretcher, has that big playability. You can even, and I think Jaden Reed, you're going to be able to utilize him maybe even in the slot a little bit. He can do some things after the catch. Um, And he's he's very good. he has very good contested catch ability. So um, very different from Jonathan Mingo, where I just straight up didn't like him as a prospect. I think Jaden Reed has a lot of good traits. And honestly, with his age and his experience, I, I you got to think, I mean, A, uh, franchise guy is one of the favorite, one of my favorite guys that I like to listen to. He really knows his stuff about about football and and just across the board on the offensive side and the defensive side. He can't stand Ryan Gudikins. I would love to see his reaction when he sees this pick. I think he'll probably hate it. He, he'd probably say it's a reach. I would guess that this might be a little bit of a reach, but I, I kind of understand the sentiment behind it. He's 5'11", 191, so he's definitely, you know, he's not going to be a big body guy. He'll be an easier target for Jordan Love. And he's 23 years old, so he's very experienced. And when you're, you want experience at the wide receiver position for a guy who's going to be starting for the first time consistently in his NFL career, Jordan Love going into his uh, fourth year already and uh, has has never really started for real. I, I mean, I get he has once or twice before, but <laughs> that doesn't really count. So now with, with this Jaden Reed pick, I, I guess that's really what I would lean towards. They wanted a complimentary piece to go with Christian Watson. I, I don't love it, but this has got to boost his draft stock for sure. Um, I will not be overpaying or drooling for Jaden Reed at all, though, in Dynasty. No, I mean, you have to assume, number one, that Christian Watson is going to be the wide receiver one there. If, I mean, they're adding a couple weapons time. I would say Luke Musgrave is a lot more likely to get targets here than Jaden Reed is. So I like Luke Musgrave ahead of Jaden Reed in Dynasty rookie drafts. Um, I'm not even sure where hmm. I'm taking Jaden Reed. I really don't even know. And I honestly don't even know where I'm ranking him. I like, think he's going to land. He'll probably go around mid, the mid-second rounds. I mean, with the way the running backs are looking right now, which most of them are probably going to go in the third. I'm not sure I'd be reaching for him either. I mean, this is kind of similar for me to Jonathan Mingo. Like, I think, you know, from it, and and this is a little bit of a rabbit trail because it's not fantasy, but from a team needs standpoint, I just do not understand why the Packers made that pick. It just, I mean, they're in a rebuild, essentially. Like, they're not... It, why that receiver in that round? Yeah, it just doesn't there's, make a there's lot of a, sense to me. There's a lot of number twos that have gone here, a lot of complementary pieces. You see these teams that have these really explosive, very dominant guys um, that, that you know, can have big playability like the Seattle Seahawks, like, I, I mean, Justin Jefferson, Jefferson, Justin Jefferson, he can do anything. And then you have Mike Williams, and now you have Christian Watson here, and it's like, okay, are we starting to see a trend where all, you know, that side, that, that area of the offense is kind of covered. Now this year, there's kind of a lot of complimentary pieces, not a lot of dominant wide receiver one prospects in this class, maybe. And everyone's just trying to cover that wide receiver two hole and that need in their offense. I could see that as well. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So from a points per game standpoint, probably less than 10 points per less game. Less than 10. I, um, I'd say, you know, seven yeah, seven to nine. Yep. 
in and maybe not even that. And then from a ranking standpoint, we're going to have to hash this for now. He's going to be later in our rankings. There's a lot of wide receivers, obviously. Uh, but interesting yeah. pick for the Packers. Interesting guy that we have now have to have on our radar. We'll be doing some rookie analysis, so make sure you're subscribed and make sure you like this video. We've got some more picks even coming out here very soon. Um, but the second round starting to wrap up, and these are the receivers we've seen go. Very interesting. You have some receivers we had on our on our radar still haven't gone yet, so it'll yeah. be interesting to see how this plays out. Yep. All right, we'll see you guys here in a few minutes. Thanks for watching.